Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Oil shortages are a reality in our world today. There are so many events happening all over the world. Whether we're aware of all of the details or not, oil shortages of all types of oils are a reality. If having enough food stockpile is a concern of yours, you may want to stock up on the oils that you use as well. Here are some of the oils that I prefer to use. Just like other areas of food storage, store what you eat and eat what you store. My favorite oil to use is olive oil, so that's the first one that I keep in my pantry. It's my favorite for cooking. It's great for salad dressings, fish, vegetables. It's nice even to rub on your skin. Olive oil also has some survival uses. You can use it to make emergency oil lamps or candles. Olive oil needs to be stored in a cool, dry, dark place and keep the lid on tight. It will go rancid after about 24 months. Remember, first in, first out. Push the bottles you already have to the front of your pantry, new bottles behind those, and then rotate your food that way so that your shelf-stable food is always fresh and you are using it up in a reasonable amount of time. The next oil I like is vegetable oil and I like canola oil. It's great for things like breads, muffins, pancakes, waffles. Canola oil can also be used in salad dressings over vegetables. Next look for cooking sprays. They come in a wide variety. They're so handy to just spray on your pans and keep things from sticking. They come in all kinds of flavors. In an emergency, you can even use them to season your cast iron. Dutch ovens, you can use it to spray on hinges to keep them from squeaking. Let's use link annotations. There are a lot of ways you can use cooking sprays. Cooking sprays have a shelf life of about 12 months, but I haven't ever noticed any go rancid or off smelling or tasting ever at my house. And I suppose if they did, then you can use them for the lubricating things and seasoning your cast iron and not worry about that they've gone to waste. But as with other oils, don't buy far more than you could use in a reasonable amount of time. The next oil that I like to store is ghee. Ghee is actually a finely clarified butter. It's actually the highest quality clarified butter it can last a year in your pantry, eight years in your refrigerator, and indefinitely in your freezer. Know that when you put it in the refrigerator or the freezer, it tends to become solid. Just like butter, when it's sitting out on the counter, it's soft. When it's been refrigerated, it's hard. It adds a nutty flavor to your cooking, and it can actually be used to cook foods at a higher temperature, up to 400 degrees before it would begin to smoke. My recommendation is never try to home can your own butter. Purchase butter that's already designed for long-term food storage. If you study over any of the extension office recommendations on canning, they will tell you just don't do it. It's not safe to try to can your own butter. It's a risk to your health and a waste of your food storage dollars to experiment with foods that may not give you the value or the safety that you need. I like to store is a vegetable shortening or Crisco. I don't ever cook with this or eat it, but I use it to season my cast iron and all of my fryers, skillets, grill pans, Dutch ovens. This all gets a good coating of that. I reseason them once a year using the Crisco. The vegetable shortening can last in your pantry for up to five years. Sadly, it no longer comes in a can, it comes in cardboard, so if you want to get the full length of value out of it, you might want to scoop it into a canning jar, label it, and put that away in your pantry. I don't use this for cooking, so I'm not concerned with it becoming rancid, and it's still going to be useful for seasoning the pans because then everything is cooked off. You can also use it to make emergency candles. In fact, you can stick a wick right into the Crisco can and light it and it'll burn up the fuel and make an emergency candle for you. But just remember, now it's made out of cardboard, so you may not want to actually insert a wick and light the can of Crisco because it's no longer an actual can. You don't want to risk starting a fire if the paper melted or burned or just fell apart. I've also been using some coconut oil and some avocado oil, mixing it up with different flavors and varieties. 
Another option that I use for long-term food storage is the Augustin Farms Butter Powder. It has 204 servings. It will last in your pantry for 10 years. And if you keep these kind of dehydrated and freeze-dried foods in a cool, dark, dry environment, they could last far longer. So whatever your concerns are of having the oils that you need, stock up while things are readily available. The prices are skyrocketing. They're putting limits on purchases and we don't want to be caught in the predicament that we don't know what to do next. So stock up while things are still readily available. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.